Hey there awesome admins, Summer 19 is here. Lots of really cool stuff out in this release. I'm going to walk you through everything in the administration certification maintenance for Summer 19. If these videos are helpful, go ahead and hit the like button and make sure to subscribe so you're always updated for my newest videos. All right, let's jump into it. So the first thing here is assigning a custom color to hyperlinks. This is very cool if you do branding in your org. We're going to go to setup, going to the theme section, and we're going to create a new theme. I don't think I have any themes in this particular trailhead org. So we're going to go ahead and hit new theme. I'm going to totally sell out and do Salesforce mentor. Um, let's put an image here. Uh, none of these are probably small enough. Let's pull this one. There we go. That works out. And then the key here is to link color, uh, use brand, use brand color. So that is, um, that's the, that's a, oops, sorry. That's not, let's use the brand color. There we go. And then, um, we're going to use the link color, use brand color, save that. And then we need to activate our theme and let's go back over here, do a couple refreshes because the themes don't always take right away. So while that rolls through, we're actually going to skip to the next one. Let's see, set org defaults for how activity lists, how activities display. So this is going to change how the activity feed looks based on a global setting that we have. I'm unsure if we can do it based on profile, at least for right now, it's a global setting. So it'll either be the related list like we're familiar with inside of classic, or it's going to be the activity timeline, which I actually prefer, but it's based on your organization. Uh, we can see some of the branding is taken here for this one. We're going to go to record page settings. I'm also curious about this full view, but I haven't clicked that yet. Um, at least for this module, it's going to go ahead and tell us to select related lists. If we go to a record and got one here, quickly jumping back to the hyperlinks, we can see that our hyperlink is now green, which is awesome. And going to our activities feed, we can see that it is the regular activities history here. And just to show you the difference, I'm going to switch back, go to activity timeline. You're going to see that the activities feed is going to pop back. So there you have it. This is the activities timeline versus just having the list. Just to illustrate one more time. And here we go. All right, so let's see what we have next. Increase manager productivity with new task filters. And it looks like we added a new filter for my team's task. Really quick here, I'm adding the task to the navigation bar. I recently found out about this. I don't know why I didn't know earlier. All right, let's switch to the table view. It's probably going to be in filters. Let's switch to a different filter. We'll open up our filters and here it is my team's task. It doesn't make much sense to change the delegated task filter to my team's task, but just to illustrate things. Here we go. All right. Next on our list, we have sorting dashboard components by groups and measures. This is actually really cool because it allows for multi-level filtering. See, this is the only dashboard I have, I think. Let's play around with this component. Let's convert it to a table. That should make it easy to illustrate what we want to see here. Let's group by city and what else is important? Maybe number of bedrooms. Then let's add some measures in here. Asset value. We'll do the sum of that and maybe days on the market. Now the key here is we have an initial grouping that we can sort by. Then we have a subgrouping that we can use. And when we update this,
there's our fancy dashboard. Some of days on the market may not have been the best. All right, let's check out what else we've got here. Showing subtotals on the first level groups. Quick note, subtotals are only available in lightning tables. We'll go back and edit that same table. Scroll down and do show subtotals. Now we're gonna see a row of values for each grouping, which is awesome. All right, so you should be able to answer all of these questions. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, hit that like button. I really appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Hit that subscribe button and comment down below on what you would like to see next.